welcome back to my channel, Diva in the Apron. This your girl, Kayla, and ooh, it is spooky over here, y'all. So I hope y'all are having a fabulous day. If not, you will after I show y'all how to make my spooky looking skeleton meatloaf. Now, if you're trying to get in the Halloween spirit and you missed out on my last videos, go check them out. I did a bomb tutorial on how I set my channel. I even hooked y'all up with a spooky little bell pepper recipe. And in my last video, we eating healthy. I hooked y'all up with a DIY tutorial on how I did my edible arrangement. So, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, turn on your post notification bells, give me a thumbs up if you like this video, leave me a comment down below, don't be sorry. Let's go ahead and jump into this video, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the ingredients. the werewolf, Dracula, Frankenstein, too cute. Y'all see the little pocket in the front? Y'all see it? So throw on your favorite apron and let's get down on this meatloaf. Okay guys, so I'm starting off with the most important ingredient because without this, there will be no meatloaf. So ground beef, get you some ground beef. I'm also using some townhouse crackers. Now you can use breadcrumbs if you want, but I always use um, crackers because my mom always uses crackers and they come out good. I like the crackers. You will also need a green pepper and onion mix, some olives, black pepper, some sea salt, some thyme, One onion, get you a nice big onion, some minced garlic, ketchup, and I like Heinz, garlic salt, I love garlic, I know I always say that, I just love garlic and the smell, Ugh. some onion powder, complete seasoning, and some tomato paste, just a small can, tomato sauce, some parsley flakes, all right, a little bit of accent, some buttermilk, any kind you want y'all, any kind is fine, one egg, some Lee and Parents Worcestershire sauce, followed by some Lee and Parents Bold Steak sauce. And I'm gonna show y'all what to do with that, a little trick, all right? You will need some parchment paper. And I just have some spider rings to make it look spooky. Now don't eat these guys because I do not want to be responsible for anybody going to the walk-in, so they're just for decoration. Don't eat them now. All right guys, let's get started. Y'all, let's get these crackers smashed up. So you want to take some crackers and place them in your Ziploc bag and take your rolling pin and just roll away, apply some pressure and smash them up really good. Just like that. So this is perfect y'all. This is exactly how you want them to look. All right, so now I'm going to pour it in the measuring cup. I try to aim for one cup which I believe this is a little over. Yep, it's a little over one cup, but that's fine. All right, so now I'm going to unwrap my ground beef. Now I'm adding in my onions and green peppers. I'm just smashing it down a little bit. All right, now I'm going in with some sea salt. And remember guys, season to taste. Next, I'm going in with some black pepper minced garlic and y'all know I'm heavy on the garlic because I love garlic 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 now I'm going in with some garlic salt a little onion powder some oregano parsley flakes and I will be adding more parsley flakes to it later once I mix it up a little accent 
some thyme, a little Worcestershire sauce, a few splashes. Now I'm adding in that Lee and Perrin's Bold Steak Sauce, a few splashes of this as well. Now I'm adding some ketchup, just a little bit. Followed by some tomato sauce. And that's about how much I used. Now I'm adding in some tomato paste. And that's about three tablespoons. Now the crackers. Add those crackers in, y'all. Now we're adding in the one beaten egg, a splash of buttermilk. All right, guys, so let's mix that up really good. Get those hands dirty, but remember, you don't want to over mix. All right, so now I'm adding in more parsley. It's like the parsley just disappears once you mix it in. A little bit more of the bold steak sauce and this just gives it like a nice little kick a nice flavor like a tanginess I love it I'm also adding in more garlic salt now I'm going to go ahead and give that a final mix all right so now I'm going to cover it with saran wrap and place it in the refrigerator until I'm done preparing the rest of the ingredients Let's make them some eyes now stand the onion up the long way just as I'm doing and you want to turn it around and slice the other side remember you want his eyes to be nice and round all right so his eyes are done now let's give him some teeth y'all so you want to turn it to the side and just slice it and cut you some big strips because remember zom zombies and skeletons have some thick teeth and they're not that even so it doesn't have to be all neat all right, so you want to take your sharp knife that has a nice sharp point and make like an X in the center of the eye and kind of take your knife and just twirl it around to kind of dig the middle out and make sure the knife is all the way down touching your cutting board. So once you dig the middle out, you want to take your olive, which will serve as the eyeballs and press it down in there to see if it fits. All right, mine fit, so it's good to go. Look at that, y'all. How cute. <laughs> All right. So do the same for the other eye. Make the X. Once you make the X, just go ahead and twirl it around. So just take the tip of the knife to get the remaining pieces of onion out the middle because you want the olive to go all the way down in there. All right. Let's test it out, y'all. And it looks perfect to me. So on to the glaze. Now I'm adding in the rest of the tomato paste. I think I had about like three tablespoons in there. All right, so now I'm adding in a little bit of tomato sauce, followed by some ketchup. And more of my little secret, the bold steak sauce. Don't skip this y'all. It just gives it like a nice tangy flavor. I just love what it does to it. All right, so take you a whisk and mix it up. Now you want to taste it. And if it tastes too much like tomato paste, then you can go ahead and do what I'm doing. I'm adding more ketchup, more of the bold steak sauce. All right, so let's mix it up. And I'm just gonna add a pinch of sugar and that should do it. Perfect, that's the taste I'm looking for. So now I'm adding my parchment paper to my baking dish so that way the meatloaf does not stick because we don't want that to happen. So before I start to form the head, I like to go ahead and just round it off and give it that perfect shape. And as I'm rounding it off, I like to kind of go in on the side that way it can look like a real skeleton or monster's head. Make sure you have some meat down below, that way you can make his mouth. So now I'm taking my knuckles just to make some holes and that will be his eyes. 
and you want to make them big enough so that way the onions can fit. So I'm making the nasal passage by just pushing the ground beef together. Now I'm getting ready to make the mouth, guys. And it's super easy. Just stick your hand down in there and separate the ground beef and just make like an opening. So I'm just making his nostrils, guys. I'm just finishing off the nose. And that's about it. I think this looks too cute, guys. All right, so that's about it. I don't think it can get no better than that. Check it out, y'all. What y'all think? I think he came out cute. All right, so now let's get these onions in here, y'all. Let's give them some eyeballs. So the onions actually fit perfectly. So you just wanna press it down in there. And as you press it down in there, just go ahead and take the ground beef and just push it over the eye. That way it really looks like his eyeball is actually in the socket. Looks so realistic this way. All right, now we're adding in the other onion. And if you have to push it down in there and adjust it, it's fine. Remember the ground beef is soft, so it will give. So I'm just doing the same thing, just kind of pushing that ground beef up over around the eye. And I'm gonna take a little bit of ground beef from the chin and just add it right there because it's a little thin. We don't want his eyeball coming out, y'all. We don't want that. And I recommend to take from the chin because it's a lot of ground beef down there and you can easily just round it back off. I'm just adding a little bit more ground beef to this side and I think that'll do it. Yep, perfect. So now I'm hooking him up with some teeth, y'all. So I like to stagger it to make it look even more realistic. And the little pieces of onions that weren't cut that neat, I love those because it just makes it look even better because we know zombies and skeletons do not have neat teeth. All right, so the teeth are in and it actually looks like a zombie or a skeleton head, wow. So this is the last step. We're going to baste the meatloaf with the tomato sauce that we mixed up earlier. And you can use a spoon or a knife to get in between the nose or in between the teeth like the smaller areas. And this is going to taste so good based on top once it bake in. Mm. Don't skip this step y'all either. Preheat your oven to 350 and I'm getting ready to pop this in the oven for one hour through an hour and a half. And check this out, y'all. He is all done. I know he looking ugly, y'all, but I'm telling y'all, he is delicious. Okay, guys, so my meat loaf is done. And oh my goodness. I wish you guys could smell the aroma of this meat loaf when it was cooking. It made it smell so good. The smell just took over the whole house. So I hope it tastes as good as the smell, because I'm sure it does. So let's taste this meatloaf guys i cannot wait it just smells so good oh it just took over all right mm. it tastes good y'all mm. just a little pop not too much the ketchup on top the concoction I did that is so good it's perfect not too tomatoey not too sweet it's just right even if you you know if you don't celebrate Halloween or you don't want to make the skeleton head go ahead and just you know form the regular loaf and just try the meatloaf because it tastes good and I don't want y'all to miss out this meatloaf is the bomb oh it's so good y'all Even if you don't want to shape it into a skeleton head, just go ahead and make it the regular way. Because 
it was delicious and the flavor was there. It was there, y'all. So that's it for this video. I will see y'all back later. Bye, y'all.